Good morning. I hope you are doing well and safe. Today we will start a new chapter. According to our syllabus, we will talk today about power and politics in organizations. This is a very important topic nowadays, and it is attracting the attention of the scholars and the researchers all over the world. We will talk about power and what it means. What do you mean by power? Usually power, it means strength, which means that, or authority in business, if a person, A, can influence the behavior of a person, B, so that B can act in accordance with the wishes of A, this means that A has power over B. So, this is very important aspect. Because as long as B is obeying the orders or he is influenced by A, then this means that there's a function of dependence because B is depending on A in this manner. So the greater the dependency of B on A, the greater the power of A on B in that uh, sense. So this is the meaning of power and how people, they can influence others and make them do the things that they want them to do. It comes to our mind, the topic of leadership. You remember that we differentiated between leadership and management. And we said that a leader, he's the person who can have an influence over others and he can impact them in a positive manner. Power. It means that uh, the manager, he has the authority based on his status as, as being a manager or as a CEO of the company, and he has the power to issue orders to others. But he lacks the influence that he can exert on others. What are the differences between leadership and power or authority in this manner? We will compare between the two upon three criteria. First, goal, goal compatibility, the direction of influence, and the research emphasis concerning this. Leaders or leadership, it requires goal congruence. There should be certain goal with the person or with the company uh, that uh, we should achieve. Power, it means that Having a power over others, this means that there is a dependence of others on the person who holds the power. Direction of influence. In leadership, the focus will be downward influence. In power, the influence will be in all directions. Research emphasis here. Leadership emphasizes leadership style and on power, it focuses on the tactics used by the individuals and the group to insert, to, uh, to have influence over others and let them make whatever they want them to do. Okay, when we talk about power inside organizations, we should take into consideration the formality of power. Formal power is based in, on the individual's position or status in the organization. The higher he is, the more power he has. So, when he has power, when the person, he has power over others and he can influence them in a certain manner, this means that he will hold three types of power. What are these? The first one is called coercive power or force or power by force, which means complies from fear of the negative results. People usually, they avoid being punished because if you don't do what I tell you to do, this means that you will be punished. So, in order not to be punished, people will avoid this negative result. The other kind of power is reward power. Based on, if you comply and you do whatever is being asked to do, then this will be reflected in a positive way and you will get benefits out of your uh, obedience. Third, the final one, is legitimate power. Legitimate power from the formal authority, which means to control the organizational processes and resources. Legitimate power, um, Max Weber, he referred to uh, legitimate authority 
and he called it bureaucracy which means the rule of the office so he is there he has the power to give orders and to tell people what to do because he is there because his position in this office is based on his capability is based on his authority to give the orders that he can do it okay in addition to formal power we have some kind of uh, another type of power which is personal power personal power stems from the individual's unique characteristic based on his personality we have two types of personal power first expert power the other one is referent power let us see what do you mean by expert power experts usually they influence their their influence wield as a result of their expertise they have special skills or special knowledge another type of personal power is based on the referent which is based on the ident and identifying the person who has desirable resources or personal traits and he can uh, he can impact other people this we call charisma okay we talked about formal power, personal power. Which bases of power are most effective? Personal resources are most effective. For instance, expert and referent power are positively related to satisfaction and the performance and the commitment of employees. Reward and legitimate power, they are unrelated to these organizational outcomes. Coercive power, is negatively related to employee satisfaction and commitment. What role independence play plays in power relationship? We said at the beginning that power means person A, he can influence person B because person B depend on the first person in certain manner. So the greater B depend on A, so the, mo the more power A has over B. This creates dependence uh, between the two. And what creates this dependence? Dependence increase when a source you control, when a, a resource you control is important, scarce, and unsubstitutable. Let us see the meaning of import importance, scarcity, and non uh, substitutability. Let us define the meaning of each. Importance, which means that if nobody wants what you have, it's not going to create dependence because they don't care about what you have and they don't depend on you. So the less importance they put on, on the things that you have, then the less dependence they will have. Scarcity which means that we will see scarcity dependence relationship in the power situation of employment. For instance, when supply of labor is low relative to the demand, the demand, the supply is less than the demand of workers, then workers, they can negotiate their compensation and their benefit package far more, which will be far more attractive to them uh, in, uh, in the industry than occupation w when they have plenty of candidates uh, to, to, uh, to, to come and, and have these occupations. The third one is non-substitutability, which means the fewer alternatives afford the resources, the more power a person control the resources will have. So this means that uh, you cannot substitute certain things with other things and for this reason you will depend more on what I have or what I own exactly so we stop here next time inshallah we will finish the uh, talking about power and politics in organization see you then bye bye